being full time will just give me um, a lot more time, obviously, to focus on my training. Uh, it'll be huge, you know, the ability to be a full time rugby player. It's not about the hours that you put in training, it's about the hours that you can look after yourself and recover properly and do all the bits that go alongside it. There's always been things that I can work on um, when I did have a job, but I think obviously now having the time, um, I'll be able to focus on those areas. You know, whether that's uh, your rehab or your prehab, it could be analysis, it could just be rest and getting your head in the right space. Probably like avoiding contact is my main thing because I do quite like running into contact. So those skills obviously I'll be I'm trying to focus on. But I think mainly for me will be my kicking game. Obviously being a winger, that's a massive part of um, a winger's game. So I, I should probably focus on that really. <laughs> it's a step forward for the game, especially in Wales, but hopefully we're seeing it across the board now in other countries as well. And you know, just hopefully it'll go from stride to stride, pick up in countries and probably, you know, like improve the game and put us on a bit of a different standard so that it inspires the next generation to go and grow up and want to be a professional rugby player, you know, that's what we'll hope to see. Oh, definitely. Like, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Um, I think, like, all, this sounds cringy, but all good things take time. So I think um, this is a start for um, loads of girls to be able to put more time into training and, and their rugby, which will obviously be amazing going forward. It's like a big step for, like, women in general in, uh, for rugby in Wales um, and hopefully it will in, inspire you know the younger girls getting into rugby and give them hope that they can also be professional rugby players one day.